Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today I would like to share my vision. God showed me of a person who is very rebellious, disobedient and uh, stubborn. He is very stubborn, very rebellious and very disobedient. And I know him in real life. So in the vision, God showed me that he is facing his blessing and also his destiny. But every time when he's stubborn, he's one step back from his blessing. And then when he's angry, he's two steps back. When he's disobedient and when he's rebellious, three steps back, four. Like he was constantly moving backward and not forward. And then I see a very large pit behind him. And every time he moves backward, he's very closer to that pit and finally he falls into that pit. This is what happens to a person who is stubborn, rebellious and disobedient. Even to those who have a negative attitude and a toxic behavior, just know that all of that are a roadblock to your blessing. They will keep you away from God's divine destiny set up for your life. Now, as I said earlier, in a vision I saw this guy moving backward and then he falls into a pit. Just let me read uh, Jeremiah chapter 7 verses 24. But they did not obey. In other words, they did not listen. They did not obey or incline their ear. Incline their ear, in other words, they did not pay attention. But they walked in their own counsel. They kept doing whatever they wanted and the stubbornness of their evil hearts. They went backward and not forward. I repeat, they went backward and not forward. I just want to remind you again, this is what the Lord said to me, obedience attracts God's blessing. When you're obedient to his word and when you follow his commandments, what you do is you bring down his presence and in his presence comes the provision. God will give you whatever you want if it aligns to his will. So make sure you obey God. A lot of people what they do is they never, especially most people, those who live in disobedience, they never bother to evaluate their present relationship with God. They never bother to check. They don't have any desire to change. They don't want to see, I mean, they are not concerned if there is any need of improvement in their life. But they will immediately run to the pastor and they will say, Pastor, pray for me. I need this and that. So please evaluate your present relationship with God. You know, don't run, don't run to all these pastors and prophets for blessing. No. If you're not living a life of obedience, God is not going to bless you. God will never bless you. That's what the scripture says. He cannot stand those who are disobedient to those who are stubborn and to those who are rebellious. Do you know that rebellion is as same as witchcraft to God? And do you also know that rebellion, stubbornness and disobedience is a spirit? It's a demon. Do you know that? Let me read 1 Samuel chapter 15 verses 22 to 23. And Samuel said, Had the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being the king. Let me highlight 23, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Wow, this is what, I mean, God is comparing the sin of rebellion to witchcraft. So that means rebellion is as bad as witchcraft. When a person rejects God's word and when he's not willing to obey the words that are there in the Bible, do you know that his soul is spiritually in danger? Just know that rebellion will lead a person away from God and without repentance, it's going to open doors for demons to enter your life. So be very careful. I'm telling you rebellion, anyone who's rebellious, a lot of children, youth are so rebellious, they don't listen to their parents. 
they don't obey their parents they don't obey the teachers they don't respect elders they don't submit to authorities i'm telling you rebellion is a spirit it's a demon and this is what it says stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry now over here god is comparing stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry now what is stubbornness someone who rejects correction and repentance and iniquity it is in other words sin and wickedness so anyone who is stubborn they have committed a sin and it's wicked in the eyes of the lord and why does he mention idolatry it's because when you're stubborn you are not listening to god's word you go against his word so when you go against his word then whom are you listening to the gods of the world which is satan himself so it means that you're choosing to give your service and obedience and allegiance to another god so is it starting to make sense now this is how we need to look at it from a spiritual point of view which is god's point of view so rebellion and stubbornness it's a spirit and even disobedience it's also a spirit so first evaluate your present relationship with god and see the just pray and ask the lord to reveal your sins and also to change in areas where a change is required you might say i'm not stubborn or rebellious or even disobedient just pray let the holy spirit reveal it to you now i'm going to read a couple of scriptures very important scriptures take a look john chapter 14 verse 15 if you love me you will keep my commandments In Luke 6:46, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? Now, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, this is what it says: And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all His commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. In Acts chapter 5 verse 29 But Peter answered we must obey God rather than man. In John 8:44 this is what it says You are of your father the devil and your will is to do the father's desire which is Satan If you belong to Satan then you will do what Satan is telling you to do He was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him When he lies he speaks out of his own character for he is a liar and the father of lies And in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful and unholy. 1 Samuel 12:15 If you will not listen to the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the command of the Lord, then the hand of the Lord will be against you as it was against your fathers. In Jeremiah 12:17, but if they will not listen, then I will uproot that nation, uproot and destroy it, declares the Lord. In Ephesians 5:6, let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Titus 1:16, they profess to know God, but by their deeds they deny Him. being detestable and disobedient and worthless for any good deed you might have heard a well known vernacular don't be stubborn as a mule you know the bible mentions mules with uh, regards to stubbornness i think it's in psalms 32 verse 9 and i'm going to read it for you do not be like the horse or the mule which have no understanding but must be controlled by bit and bridle in fact the hebrew word for stubborn 
is translated as turning away, rebellious and backsliding. So please be very careful not to be stubborn and you know, don't reject God's word because there is a scripture, a very scary scripture, for, especially for people who are very stubborn. He is storing up God's wrath on the day of judgment. I'll share that scripture a little later. But first let me talk about uh, in Deuteronomy 9, Moses recalls Israel's stubbornness concerning the golden calf they made at Mount Sinai. And at that time God told Moses, I've seen these people and behold, it is a stubborn people. You can find this in Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 13. And then he says, in verse 14, God's anger was so great that he had considered destroying the people completely for their stubborn, stiff-necked ways. So in the Old Testament, God wanted to completely destroy them because of their stubborn and stiff-necked ways. But in the New Testament, there is something different. You can find this in Romans chapter 2 verse 5. So if you're someone who's very stubborn and rebellious, know this, you're storing up God's wrath on the day of judgment, which is very, very dangerous for your soul. So you better listen to God's word, listen to the elders, listen to your pastor, listen to any man or a woman of God. If they're speaking the truth and if the truth aligns to the word of God, please listen to them. Now this is what it says in Romans chapter 2 verse 5. Because of your stubbornness and your unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath against yourself for the day of God's wrath, when His righteous judgment will be revealed. See, you're storing up God's wrath. You're storing up God's wrath. Because we have heard many preachers preach on God's love, God's mercy and God's unconditional love. But on the day of judgment, you're not going to see God's love, mercy and unconditional love. You're going to see God's wrath. If you're someone who's very disobedient, you're going to see his wrath on the day of judgment. So be very careful not to be a stubborn person. And there are other scriptures too. Acts chapter 7 verse 51. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do you. And in Psalms 78 verse 8. And that they should not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, which means not loyal, whose spirit was not faithful to God. This is another one. But they refused to pay attention. Stubbornly they turned their backs and covered their ears. They made their hearts as hard as a flint. In other words, their heart was like a, was very hard, diamond hard. And they would not listen to the law or to the words that the Lord Almighty had sent by His Spirit through the earlier prophets. So the Lord Almighty was very angry. Let me highlight this, this scripture where it says, And would not listen to the law or to the words that the Lord Almighty had sent by His Spirit through the earlier prophets. So they didn't listen and what happened? The Lord Almighty was very angry. So this is what I just said earlier. Please listen to your pastor. And if the Lord is sending a prophet to you, listen. Listen to them, please. Because it is not the prophet speaking to you. It is God speaking to you through the prophet. So please listen to them, please. So just know that anyone who's stubborn, who's rebellious and who's disobedient, you can just forget your blessing. You can really forget your blessing. Because this is what I saw in the vision. That person who was stubborn, rebellious and disobedient was moving backward. He was walking backward and not forward. And then suddenly he falls into the pit. And before I close, let me remind you that stubbornness, rebellion and disobedience, this is a spirit a demon so pray for deliverance okay and make sure that you're delivered because if you don't you are storing up God's wrath on the day of judgment 
It's going to be a very horrible day for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to stay in this world and be blessed.